So we're going to mix brioche dough and we're going to use um, the KitchenAid stand mixer to mix the dough and what I've done is I've scaled out 430 grams of eggs and 85 grams of water into this bowl and then to this bowl I'm going to add 61 grams of fresh yeast and again if you have instant yeast just divide 61 by 3 to get the amount to use for your instant yeast. I'm sort of crumbling up the fresh yeast as I go. 100 grams of sugar and also 22 grams of salt. And then we are going to add 875 grams of all-purpose flour. We're adding everything to the bowl so the dry ingredient, the flour goes on the top. And then we're not adding the butter right now. What we're going to do is we're going to mix everything without the butter to develop the gluten. Putting the dough hook on the mixer. And now I'm going to mix this for about three minutes just to incorporate all the ingredients on very low speed. So the brioche has been mixing for about three minutes. It's incorporated and at this point we're going to increase the speed of the mixer so that we can start to develop the gluten. And we're going to mix it for another five minutes on a higher speed. And I usually take my speed up to about, when it's, a, when it's a stand mixer, up to about four or five. Okay, so our brioche dough has been mixing on high speed for about five minutes. And you can see that I have to sort of hold the mixer down with my hands because otherwise it will hop around. And you just want to be careful when you're using your mixer. It's okay to use this brioche dough with your mixer, but the stiffer doughs that really like give your mixer a workout are probably those doughs that you need to uh, mix by hand. So this has been five minutes. I'm going to turn the speed down to a lower speed, and I'm going to add 500 grams of softened butter. And I'm going to sort of add it sort of all at once. And we're going to let this mix the butter in until it's all homogenized. So this step, adding the butter in, should probably take somewhere between 5 and 10 minutes. Okay, so our butter is basically incorporated into the dough and it's been about 10 minutes. And I don't see any chunks of butter left, so I'm going to turn the mixer off. I'm going to lift the mixer up take the hook off and then I'm going to I've oiled this bowl here I'm gonna put all of the dough into this bowl and I'm going to let the brioche dough ferment for about one hour this is a really nice dough this dough has about 50 percent butter in it and there are different types of brioche dough with varying degrees of butter in it but this is sort of a, a nice standard amount of butter Okay, so this brioche dough has fermented for one hour and you can see it's really doubled in size and that's because it's been so warm in the kitchen today. And if it doesn't double in size, it's completely fine. After one hour, what you wanna do still is fold it and deflate it, that's degassing or punching down, and then you wanna cover it with a piece of plastic wrap and put it in your refrigerator and that will chill it down so that when you pull it back out you can shape it and I would let it chill down for at least two hours and overnight I think overnight is great it sort of breaks up the process and makes it a lot easier so I'm gonna fold this you can see it's really deflating it was very very warm in here and so the yeast was very very active so I've deflated it now I'm going to get some plastic wrap and cover it and then retard it in the refrigerator. So that is how you mix brioche dough.